Hark! And good morrow to you. May I wish you the fairest of greetings. I'm Esther. And this is my channel. And today, we're making some Kung Pao chicken. So let me explain what I have going on here. So I have this seitan chicken, which was in last week's video. If you watched it, um, you can go check it out. Make this chicken. It takes overnight, so you can make this the day before. And if you don't feel like making this and going to all of this effort, you can pick up some Morningstar chicken strips at the grocery store, and you can pick up some other chicken substitutes. I know Gardein has a good one. Um, Worthington has a chicken log that would be good for this too, but this is a great chicken substitute, great seitan chicken. You can even pick up seitan at some health food stores too. So that's my chicken. I have about two cups of it shredded. It's about half of the recipe from the one I did. And I have a whole red bell pepper. I have a whole white onion. I have four of these giant white mushrooms that I'm going to slice up. And I have about a cup of broccoli pieces. They were frozen just nice and easy. Not going to the trouble of getting fresh broccoli. And I have some minced garlic, some minced ginger. I have soy sauce and um, rice vinegar. I have some peanut butter here um, in place of the hoisin sauce, which I don't have currently. And I've got this baking soda and corn flour. And so we're going to make this sauce. We have a marinating sauce for the chicken and then we have a sauce that will go on all of the vegetables and the noodles later. And I have these rice noodles and I have a pot of salted water on the stove boiling ready for these noodles in a couple minutes. So let me bring you over here and we can show you what's happening with this sauce. Okay, so this bigger measuring cup I have over here has half a cup of chicken broth in it already. I just mixed up half a cup of water and a tablespoon of the McKay's chicken seasoning. And then I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of this soy sauce. Three teaspoons of this cornstarch, which is one tablespoon. So I'm gonna just pop that in there and that's going to help thicken your sauce later when it hits the heat and I'm going to add two teaspoons of this baking soda it's not to help it rise I assume it's for flavor two tablespoons of my rice vinegar and this packet of crushed red pepper flakes I don't actually have like a bottle of crushed red pepper flakes but I have this from like a pizza restaurant so we're going to add it in. It's supposed to be about a teaspoon in this pack. It's a teaspoon, so I'm just going to add that in there. Gives it a nice kick. And then we're going to add in two teaspoons of our minced garlic. So that's about two teaspoons. I'm going to add that, and I'm just going to stir this up so it's nice and mixed together. Oh, the baking soda is making that puffy. Ah, uh, mmm, question mark? I've never made this before. <laughs> It's interesting. It's like vinegar and baking soda, like the volcano. But I was told to do this, so I did it. But it's like reacting. This is like a science experiment, bro. I guess I should have figured that, that the vinegar would react with the baking soda like that. It's, it's just really interesting. Really fizzy. Question mark? Oh, and we have one teaspoon of peanut butter to put into here, too. One tablespoon, I mean. So that is the sauce that we're going to be using later to go on top of our noodles and everything. And this small measuring cup is going to have our marinating liquid for the chicken. So let's get that together really fast. It's just going to be a fourth of a cup of rice vinegar and then two tablespoons of soy sauce. And this one also gets some baking soda and cornstarch, so interesting. I'm fascinated by like what the point of doing this is. I'm just gonna put that in there. Also fizzy. It's very interesting. It'll die down in a second. Okay, so I have my two things and I'm going to just take my chicken like this and pour in this marinade that we made a second ago. 
and I'm going to stir that up and let this chicken just kind of like sit, rest in here for a minute. Okay. So I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to stir it every like three minutes while I chop these vegetables. Okie dokie. So I have all of these vegetables all chopped up. All my sauce is made. My chicken is marinated. And I have my pan heating and my water boiling. So everything's ready to kind of like get started. And then it's going to go pretty fast from here. I'm just going to stick my third box of rice noodles into this boiling water. It's nice and well salted, which your water should be too when you boil noodles. I'm going to stick some oil into this pan. Just some avocado, about three tablespoons to get all these vegetables sauteing. And since this is not real chicken and it's already technically cooked because we steamed it before, I'm not going to put it in right now, but I'm going to put all these vegetables in and get them sauteing. Um, get them a little brown and soft for about uh, 10 minutes before I put that chicken in there. And then the sauce will go in and it'll be done. So this is our vegetable vibe going on right here. I put them all into slices so they kind of match the shreds of the chicken. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt along with the oil so it helps them cook down a bit faster and starts breaking down those vegetable um, fibers so it can get nice and soft. I'm not going to add a lot because we have a whole sauce with lots of salty things in there and I think they'll be enough salt and I'm gonna add that broccoli in in about five minutes because it's frozen and already par steamed so I'm gonna let this cook and I will be back with you in a couple minutes so this is what it's looking like right now I added the broccoli in and I'm gonna add all this chicken and this marinating liquid to get it sauteed before I add the sauce and I'm gonna give that probably like 10 more minutes and then it'll just take two minutes for the sauce to like heat up and thicken a little bit so gonna just have this chicken and our rice noodles are almost done so I'll strain them and add a little bit of our sauce to that but yeah this is looking great smelling great it's one of those times you wish you could smell through your camera okay so this is what our chicken is looking like right now it's nice and glossy from the glaze that was just on the chicken and it smells delicious and I'm going to make it real saucy in a minute with um, our sauce that we made earlier to go on and then it'll thicken up too. I'm going to pour um, pretty, pretty much fourth of a cup on my noodles just to like season them up but then I'm going to add the rest of this just in here and it'll thicken and it's going to get really saucy so turn it down to a medium heat so it's not cooking on high and just like boiling and sticking to the pan so it's going to take a couple minutes for this to thicken up and get all glazed and nice, but it looks delicious and amazing. Just something to keep in mind if you're making this recipe on your own. I'm adding in these baby corns right now. You can really add like whatever vegetables you want. I've seen this done with like zucchini and like all the mushrooms and the onions and um, you can add like water chestnuts an Asian blend of frozen veggies would work fine too um, but you can just make this as a vegetable dense as you desire really or as vegetable light as you want um, but I am a big fan of a lot of vegetables so I've added quite a few in here what were your thoughts on the chicken? It was salty and noodly and delicious. <laughs> it was salty. My thoughts on the chicken. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about this chicken. Okay, so let me give you my thoughts on the chicken. I did some research on the baking soda thing because, though super fun, because it exploded everywhere like a 7th grade science experiment volcano, um... I thought it was kind of weird that it was in there. It turns out it's a flavoring element. Like, it's not for rising, obviously, because you're not baking anything. But it's to give it kind of like those, like, 
bitter undertones and notes that can be good in some things and pair nicely. Like obviously you don't want your thing to be bitter but it can be nice but it was a little bit too much baking soda I think. I think it was good. I enjoyed the chicken quite a bit but if I made this again because I did it based off of a couple recipes that I found I would skip the marinade for the chicken and just go with the sauce because it was a little salty and it was a little bitter and there was baking soda in both elements of it so and it was and it was like soy sauce like they were pretty much the same thing if you really want to marinate your chicken ahead of time because the vegetables were great they were good and they had the sauce and they weren't marinated but the chicken is what really ended up like salty because it was in that marinade for a while so cut the marinade I think it'll be perfectly delicious and <laughs> well salted and not over salted without that marinade so I will put that caveat in the instructions in the description box below if you decide to make this just cut that marinade off with its head get it out of here garbage we don't want it anyway make the chicken it's still good it's great it's 10 out of 10. like and subscribe or something <laughs> So this was making Kung Pao Chicken. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this cooking experience. I had a great time and I hope you had a great time. And this tastes pretty great. So definitely try making it on your own and telling me in the comments below how it went. And let's be friends. All my social media is linked in the description box down below. And this recipe will be in the description box down below too if you want to make it. And the chicken is also on my channel, so go watch that. Make the chicken, make this Kung Pao chicken, and I love you guys so much.